And this is what was left in many driveways here in this Mandarin neighborhood. It's a plastic bag with a flyer, including anti-Semitic messages weighted down with sand. Now neighbors who I spoke with woke up this morning, say they were shocked to find the letters. One neighbor who talked off camera says she became worried and called police when she found the bag. She is Jewish, works at an Orthodox school, and has seen hate towards the Jewish community become more frequent. Last August, similar messages in bags were left in the Lake Point neighborhood. In November, an anti-Semitic banner was hung over I-95, and after at least two football games, hate messages were projected onto buildings around the city. In response, just last week, the Jacksonville City Council passed passed a law prohibiting signs or messages from being projected onto buildings without the owner's consent. Rabbi Shmuley Novak says he has noticed an increase in anti-Semitism, but says it does not shake his faith. Instead of kind of turning off or terrorizing or breaking down the Jewish community, what I think you'll find is that folks are saying in the Jewish community, well, this is my opportunity. I should be participating more. Let's have a lax and a bagel. Let's go to shul. Let's put on film. Let's act and behave more Jewishly as the ultimate way to defeat these acts of hatred. Anyone who comes across flyers containing hateful messages are encouraged to report it to the police. Reporting in Mandarin, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.